Hey guys, Sport Death, and today we're here with something a little bit different. Uh, what I have here is Flashpoint Infinity version 11.0.1. .1. Now, a couple days ago, I was watching Jacksepticeye play old Flash games, and I put something in the chat about how much I used to love these games, because I used to play them all the time, because before there was YouTube, you would go to Newgrounds or some other place and waste time playing games. And... A user by the name of Pippi Pops Self Harmonica. Uh, shout out to you for showing me the software and recommending it. I am actually going to post a link in that chat so you can get this video. Uh, you did request that I play some retro games, and today we're going to do that. So, our first game is Five Minutes to Kill Yourself, number two. And let's get started. Now, the one thing I'm going to caution is a lot of these games are very loud in your head headset, so stick to the fan by sticking to yourself. Use the mouse to move around, click on objects. So basically, you're going to a family reunion and you don't want to be there, so your options are live with it or kill yourself. We're going to skip the rest of this because I think we can see how this is going to go. Uh, we're going to wear the blue shirt with the pants and go with the green fanny pack just because. I get items. Oh, we're gonna go with the battery, because I can think. Can I get the battery and the lawnmower? I can get the battery and the lawnmower. Okay, I can get two. Hello. Stan. It's Mima. The family arena started an hour ago. You better get down here. Crap. So I'm going to play three games, and I'm going to actually try and uh, not spend too much time on each game, because I want to get a little bit of variety out there. So this software, Flashpoint Infinity, it is free. Uh, it checked pretty good. It does not seem to have any viruses or problems. The only issue is if you have a Vaster AVG, it'll trigger it, and you'll have to use a workaround. Oh, and we have to go. All right, this is Zoda again here. I don't want to do that. It's probably not going to kill me. It didn't kill me. Okay. I got hurt. Ooh, what's this? Oh, ants. Yeah, I figured we'd start with something funny. Lawn darts. Fun for all. Oh, no more than that. Click on this person. Gimme. Have a battery. Yeah, you didn't like that very much. I don't know why I gave you the battery. Interact with Barbie? Maybe not. Mr. Policeman, interact with me. He wants a match. I don't have a match. But I do have. There's a chainsaw. Save for later. Okay. Oh, this is a lot bigger than the original. If you walk around with a pair of horns on, expect a hunter to mistake you for a deer. Oh, you trade the items for better stuff. Oh, I see a deep fryer. Yeah, I actually probably would have killed you straight up. How many points do I have to get before I die? Four key blind. You can do that multiple times. Apparently the game developers got their best score. It's a minute and 16 seconds. What else do we have over here we can interact with? There's a lot of stuff you can't interact with. Ooh, oh, I don't have horns. Can't interact with the toilet. What about this guy? He wants booze. I don't have booze. Grandma! Grandma, over here. Say something. Sassafras, okay. You can see why these were fun. Whoa. I didn't expect that. Vaporize. It's pretty good, because, you know... Save after later. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I already stuck myself in the deep fryer. That guy wants something, too. I don't know what else. Oh, I can pee on a light bulb. Okay. <laughs> so you just take the fat guy and have him 
crush him. Okay. Steamroller. Alright, what do you do? It's up for later. Okay. I mean, you just desperately want to kill yourself. Yeah, you can do the same thing multiple times. You don't have to hunt around for everything. Man, I'm not dead yet. Oh, he's gonna eat the charcoal. Alright, seems like we should go for the easy ones right now, because we're running out of time. Okay. Come on, get killed. Die horribly. I think I was being too unique. I was trying to find too many different things. Alright. They said there's a beach area. So, ooh, garbage can. What do you do? What do you do? The trash? You're gonna eat the trash. Okay. Freaking. Alright, eat some more. Only a minute and a half left. Less than that. I got a minute and ten seconds. Hey, he finally died! We're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it again. Because there's another area and I want to check that out. It's supposed to be a beach. What are you, your soda? Oh, that's right, it exploded before. More of a firecracker. Okay. Oh, got the ants. Didn't mean to get the ants, but I got the ants. Lawn darts. I'm gonna stop by and grab some lawn darts. I mean, come on. Ooh, bear trap. Loading the beach. Okay, I did find the beach. I did find the beach. Because that was the thing I was looking for. Is that the beach was the deadliest area. Yeah, man. Okay, we're at the beach. We're at the beach. A big pile of garbage. Oh, half funny. You just get roll out on garbage, huh? Yep. Yep. What is that? And why can't I get to it? <laughs> All right. The pirate. Pirate does nothing. Pirate does nothing. What else we got? What else we got? A bucket of sand. Look at a bucket of sand. Uh, a lot of this stuff involves eating things that aren't food. Just grab all that sand. That's a total of 16 points. For eating sand. I'm guessing you have 100 points and you have to shave them off. It did also mention that if you find some meat and you hang out near the water, a shark will come out and get you. I'm not even going to comment on what I just saw there. You need a lot of sand today. Ooh, oh, 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 pick that up. can't click on the shark. But it's right there. I just got attacked by a leprechaun for no reason. Alright, more garbage. Okay. We're getting there. Okay, okay... What are you? Magnifying glass. Oh! Nice. Okay. Alright, alright. You gotta be sent to the left. Oh, I guess I can go back to the pavilion and find stuff there. There's a vulture.
There are several vultures in there. I don't think they're going to wait for me to be dead. Okay. We're going to go for the fart one again. Just because. Just because. I get it with the frying pan. Yeah, oh, there's a match over there. Where's the North Fellow? Grab that. I can only find a source of fire. That would work. That would work well. That guy wants booze, which I don't have. I'll just eat some charcoal. There's a deer over there. Yay! All right. So that was five minutes to kill yourself. It's a fun little game. You don't have to think too hard. Just click on things. It's really good. All right, moving on to the next game. All right, so this next one is Necronomicon. It's a card game. And I used to play the crap out of this when I was younger. I don't even remember how to play. Oh, man, it's so small. Okay. Oh, you click on them. Damage 10 plus gain 3 life. Okay. Spell opponent. Tommy gun damage five. So each of the cards has like a cost. All right, so this one costs nothing. So I should theoretically be able to play it. Okay, I can. Elder sign, invulnerable for the next attack. Okay. Okay, you can banish the opponent's creatures. Let's try that. Again, haven't played this in a while. Oh, it's a sanity cost. Oh, and I'm gaining Elder Defense and Arcane Power. So I have no Arcane Power. Yeah, I, this is one of those, like, Wizard Damp games where you tr your whole goal is to get the other person down to zero before you do. It's funny because I didn't have a creature. Mm. He's mind burn. Okay, I'm doing pretty good because my life is 38 and their life is 30. Again, haven't played this in forever. Okay. I seem to run on the same conventions that most card games do. Okay. Let's go with the raid. Oh, it's just gonna make me discard a card. Okay. I can do that too. Yeah, my sanity is getting dangerously low, though. Ooh. I can hit their sanity. I can make you crazy before I go down. That's a good one. It's a good run. Ooh, the king in yellow. Okay. Curse of Cthulhu, opponent becomes tainted. Banish the opposing creature. Mm. Arcane plus three. Gain seven life, mine two arcane. Well, I could play that and then that, and I'd be ahead, but let's see. I believe tainted is like poison. Yeah, so the zero cards cause zero sanity. So that's okay. Because that's apparently what we're spending. Okay. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Summon an elder thing, attack two. When summoned, remove taint and gain three. Elder defense. Okay. That's good, because I have taint. Apparently now I have xenophobia. Your cards, your summon cards have no effect. Okay. Dimensional Shambler. Summon Dimensional Shambler. Well, I can't do that anymore. Can I? Get rid of his creature. Okay. A 
Oh, my sanity's negative one. Okay, so it just goes until somebody dies. Alright. Can you get rid of xenophobia? I don't think you can. Oh. Yeah, that's a good card. 14 damage in one shot. Yeah, I might, I might be done. I might be done. Yep, I'm done. Alright. So yeah, that one was more for nostalgia. The next one is called Robot Dinosaurs That Shoot Lasers When They Roar. And I've never heard of it before, but with a title like that, how can you not play it? Okay, we got a meteorite crashing. Robot dinosaurs that shoot beams when they roar. <laughs> Hurry, dynamite, we're running in low on dinosaurs. Our mission resumes immediately. Is he eating the dude? He's eating the dude. Okay, let's go with the Tyrannosaurus for this one. Okay, so it's limited. Oh, this is fun. And all I need is the mouse. Oops. Oh, crap, I hit the building. It? No, that's not a way through. This is an obstacle. Okay, I wasn't quite sure what that was. If it was supposed to warp to another area or what? It's got to be destroyable, because otherwise we're gonna run into screen. Yep. It was fun. Let's do it again. Yes, we can skip back all of that. I might do one more. These are really short. Okay, I got this, I got this. Yeah, it's a power up. Okay. Alright, there's no way to get that guy. It's just a bad angle. Better off not trying. Better off not trying. Okay, so that can be destroyed. It'll just take a lot of damage. Oh, we got a boss! Well, interesting. You could basically skate through this one. Oh, we're not. It's gonna be faster now. Holy crap. Ah, oh, I fell apart. The only thing I would ask is if the guy has a health bar. Yeesh! Okay, 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 okay. We got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, there's more. I wouldn't expect less than two stages from a boss. Come on. Let me know if you played this game as a kid. Or even as an adult. We make a great team, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Or X, Tyrannosaurus X. And now the Earth will be safer than... Is that it? Is that the whole game? That's kind of awesome. <laughs> I think I learned something during it. These humans, like us, are... Dino Test. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. That was good. That was good. I do have time for one more. I do have time for one more. There's no way that I can... I might even be able to squeeze two more in. These are, like, easy. So. Okay, guys. One more. Um, this one is called The Last Stand. All right? I used to play this one all the time. This is a real fun game. Oh, this is so nostalgic. I am so glad that somebody showed me this. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So to Pippi Pop Self Harmonica, thank you. This was awesome. Happy New Year. And we're gonna skip the movie. We're gonna skip the movie. We're just gonna, let's take a quick look at the instructions. This has been a long time. So I can move the WSAD. R is reload, okay. Uh, during the night, protect your barricade against oncoming hordes. Manage your time during the daylight hours to search for weapons, survivors, and to repair. So you fight at night, spaces to swap weapons. Okay. All right, let's play. The last stand. I finished the wall today. It should hold them off for a while, I hope. Tomorrow I better look for survivors and something better to protect myself with. I have to get through the night first. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is get through the night. There we go. Yeah, you start out with a handgun. Okay, so you do have to be kinda on the same level as them. Headshots matter, headshots matter, headshots matter! I am trying for headshots. I think it matters where you're standing relative to them. Okay, we barely made it through the first night because the first nights were gonna be hard. Okay, we have 12 hours. We're gonna search for weapons. We're gonna look for survivors. We're going to spend more time working on the barricade, because it got pretty beat up. You know what? Let's do that. All right, so we'll get 25% of the barricade back. We'll find a survivor, and hopefully we find a weapon. Okay, I got 30% of the barricade. I found zero survivors, and didn't find any weapons. Well, guess we got no choice but to use the dinky pistol. Okay, okay. Stop being so fast. Stop being so fast. Yeah, I might be toast. I might be toast. Maybe the secret here is just wail on the buttons. Try to be less about aiming and more about clicking. My barricade's not looking so good. I'm toast. I'm toast. I'm toast. I'm toast. I'm toast. Yep. I got pretty far when I was younger. Ah, right, one more try. <laughs> one more try. Oh, it didn't even, like, start me over. Start me over. Okay. I should have started the game completely over. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Alright. Alright, we're gonna try one more game because these are so much fun that, like, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna do five games today. Why not? Okay, so the last game we're gonna do today is Learn to Fly 2. And I like how it has a I'm at work mode. So if you don't want music, you can play without music. Oh, this is from Congregate. Okay, we can skip this. We can skip this. And that. That was actually probably one of the best things about Flash games. You could just skip whenever you're ready. He's like, eh, I don't feel like watching this.
Okay, so a little bit of an insider joke here. Um, the first game is a penguin who gets upset because he can't fly, so he tries to fly and he winds up hitting an iceberg. So the purpose of the second game is you're going to destroy that iceberg. That is one angry and determined penguin. Do a new game. We're just gonna go with... Oh, we only have one option. Story mode it is! That's fine. So, he's learning to blow stuff up. I like the uh, the one book is icebergs and their weaknesses. Avoid crashing. It hurts. Kill iceberg from safe distance. <laughs> He's got a little fake penguin. All right, let's do this. Story mode crash course. Slide and wait until you leave the ramp. Tilt with the left and right arrow keys and D. All right. Use the mouse to control everything. Change control the option menu in the top left corner. Destroy five obstacles ahead of you by hitting them. Payloads increase your damage. Earn cash by scoring distance, altitude, speed, duration, direction in each flight. Challenges are a great way to earn easy cash. Okay. Okay, well, obviously everything is a new record because we did nothing before. Okay. This is the shop screen. Spend your money on upgrades to help fly farther. Here you can upgrade your ramp length, ramp height, and boost fuel. Click these buttons, slay, glider, boost, and payload to shop for upgrades in the catalog. When you're done, click ready on the right. Whoa, that's a lot. That seems like a good way to start. Kill list. Snowman, Snowman, Rocky Hill, Iceberg, and then the Wall. Now, as you can see, the first few times you play it, you're not going to get very far. This is one of those, play it over and over again. Okay, I can afford a plank. Yeah, I know I can get more items, but here's the thing. I can only afford the first thing. Come on. According to our research, rough edges and extra nails should increase speed while reducing friction. All right, we got a plank. Let's go. All right, so now we're riding on a plank. Okay, we got pretty far, comparatively. So th this is the, the type of game that people used to play all the time, because, like, you could just keep playing, right? Like, you didn't have to worry too much about your skill level or whatever. You could just go in here. Oh, yeah, I can't afford any of that crap. Okay, nothing there. But, like, you could just keep hammering at it, and eventually you would get somewhere. Payload. Sand. Okay, so I guess that makes you heavier. Mm, let's make it a little longer, too. All right, we've spent everything we can spend. But yeah, it's just how long and how many times can you do the same thing over again? Okay, we didn't get very far, but we did get higher. Oh, I got a challenge. Okay, cool. I'm going to inevitably play this one longer than the other ones because it, I just can. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's sometimes ramp mark two, 125 bucks. Okay, that'll be my next thing. I'm going for the other ramp. All right, let's see if I don't adjust his attitude or actually make him go a little further. Okay, I was going for more distance that time. Still got a new height one, and I got a duration one, so that's good. Alright, we still don't have enough for the uh, the next swing, so we'll just do it again. 
try and go for more height, uh, distance, sorry. Hmm. Alright, well now that we can get the new ramp. Can you see why these are addictive and why we used to play them forever? Like, we would just go to town on stuff like this. I wish to get the next upgrade for the 150. Yeesh. Okay. There's eight secrets in the game. Okay. Okay, it definitely goes higher. Oh, I got a new record for max speed. Okay. How much do this? 100, 100 bucks for that one. All right. All right, we can do that. I'll play it just a little more. And yeah, it is lagging as soon as I actually, like, go between the screens. Oh, I think we got a good distance on this one. The actual, like, controls for, like, your attitude matter a lot. Okay. Sugar rocket. Okay. Still got 65 bucks. I can't afford it. Oh, what about this? What's the next one here? 200. It gets a glider. Okay. You have a boost. Use it with spacebar. Or if clicking, use the mouse control. Each glider has a red zone. Flying faster than the glider max will reduce speed, will increase wind resistance, meaning you won't go as far and if you go too fast. Okay, so you want to stay out of the red zone. Okay, so it's got limited fuel. Okay, pretty good. This is fun. This is fun. I mean, it's just silly little game that I decided to play just because. Ooh, iron pellets, which I can afford. Let's do that. I think as long as I can get... Oh, you have to destroy obstacles by hitting them. Only then will you be really able to fly. Yeah, I don't think we're getting anywhere near that snowman. Nope. Oh, I got medals. Okay. Alright, I only have 89... Let's try this slightly differently. Okay, so I tried using less of my boost less quickly. Did I get a better distance on that one? Yes, I got a distance. New record. Get learn to fly in your mobile. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's make the ramp longer. Okay. See if that gives us a little more distance. Let's go for distance. All right, I used three bursts that time just to keep forward momentum going. All right. All right. This is addictive, and that's a problem. I. I was gonna say one more, but I'm gonna do two. Maybe three. We'll do three. We'll do three. I got over a hundred bucks for that one. Nice. All right, two more. This one and the next one. Okay. I think maybe when I get closer to the end, I should angle in downward. So maybe it'll pick up a little speed. Because he seems to stop moving forward. That might be my, my issue. Um, I don't have enough to upgrade anything. Not a thing. 
Yep. Alright. Last one then. Well, maybe I'll buy an upgrade. Yeah, we're going with the altitude more. Okay. Yeah, I tried to angle it so he would pick up speed and then use the glider to go a little further. Alright, we can upgrade the kite. This will be the last one, I promise. I promise. <laughs> last one. Okay. Woo! What happened here? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna call it a video here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, again, let me open up the window for this. It is Flashpoint 11.0.1 .1 Infinity. Alright. Um, I believe there are... Yeah, there are 162,669 games that you can search through this. So, basically, because of the guy who made this, every Flash game, you, almost every Flash game you've ever played is now available offline. The way it works is when you open up the browser, when you boot it up, you download the game temporarily that you want, you play it, and then when you hit stop, it all goes away. So you can't really save, but at the same time, you don't have to worry about keeping files on your com computer that might be harmful, and it's pulling directly from their catalog. There's a couple of different ways to get this. I'm not being sponsored by them in any way. Um, again, Somebody just pointed that out to me, and I thought the whole thing was really cool, so thank you guys for watching, and if you like this, I'll do more stuff. I'll do different games, and if you've got requests, I'll try and look through them too, because, you know, clearly, there's a lot of games here to go through, and this is just the stuff that I downloaded today just to look at, or at least made bookmarks for. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.